All of us could use some advice when it comes to buying your car or even just taking care of your personal vehicle. Tom joins us from Auto Parlor in Nixa now. Tom, what's going on out there? Well, I'm here to give you some of the, well, I'm not going to give you some advice. Kyle and Matt are going to give you advice. We're right up Campbell out of Springfield in Nixa, again, Auto Parlor. And when we first got here, there were cameras and there were microphones and there was a mixing board and there was, and we're going to tell people why in just a minute. But first, I want you to go back and kind of tell people how long you've been here doing this. Well, we've been at this location um, since, uh, we'll, we'll call it the beginning of January. There was uh -huh. a little bit of a uh, delay as far as when we were getting our license uh, yeah. open up. So, yeah, so you're kind of new kids on the block. Well, we, we're we uh, new kids on this block, I would say. Okay, because that's what I was going to ask. I'll, I'll ask you, Matt, because, yes, a physical location right here, you know, it, it's new, you all aren't new to this whole uh, helping people find a vehicle. No, sir. We've been doing this. I've been doing it for 25 years. Kyle's been doing it for 15 years. Mm -hmm. And we've been doing it here locally in the Springfield area. So we know what we're doing. We're, we're here to help everybody we can. Okay. How do you feel that your business here is different from others? Uh, one, we, we, we customize by we can, we can actually order cars for you on used cars. And most dealers don't want to take the time to do that because it takes some time. Uh, but if you're looking for a vehicle and you can't find it, come see us. We'll find it for you. So you're not kidding. When, when I said they can help you find a vehicle, it, it's not just what you have that I can see, you know, looking out the windows. You could track something down for, yes, for sir, someone. Mm -hmm. Okay. Also, you know, you have a place where you're selling vehicles. What about maintaining a vehicle? Things like that, because there are a lot of things that people need to remember. I hope you guys are there to help us out. Yeah, absolutely. We've actually, uh, we teamed up with the service department here locally to, to Nixa. Mm -hmm. um, they, they service our customers with the Eagle Pride Automotive uh, just a couple blocks away from us. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, makes it real handy for us to be able to continue to take care of uh, the customer after they make a purchase. Well, I would imagine also to, to uh, you know, put your product out there. You always want it to be in the best shape when it's driven off the lot as well. Absolutely. They all go through an inspection like they would at a normal dealership. Um, the gentleman that we have working with us came, we worked with him at, a, at one of the local dealerships, so he knows exactly how we want to sell these cars, so it's perfect for the consumer. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, you know, when we first started out, you were talking about how many years, combined years, you're over 50, I would imagine. Uh, but it's more than just business. You all like to be part of the community you're in. Uh, absolutely, a uh, hundred percent. That's uh, what one of our main drivers is to be able to to give back some do donations from proceeds and uh, pick a local charity and and keep that going. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. So, yeah. and and that's a regular thing with you, is it not? Yes, we're going to do it once a, once a month. Okay, so once a month, a new charity, mm -hmm. and that's kind of off the top sort of thing. You're taking it off the top and giving it to help other people in the community. Yes, um, we actually we purchased a 1948 Ford pickup truck yeah. uh, to deliver those funds to those uh, charities. So a great way to do it. Bring a smile to everybody's face. <laughs> Let me ask you. Of course, everybody who comes into a well, most people when they come into a car lot, they're worried about financing, lenders, things like that. Do you help them find the best rates around? Absolutely, we sure can. We've, with our experience, we're, we've got some experience with the local banks. Mm -hmm. Normally, when you start out, you don't have that. Right. We, we were able to, to secure those funds for people, and, and we also have uh, an extended service policy we can provide for them, too, to cover their, cover their cars. Okay, so you're covering all the bases, but the one base we haven't covered yet is why were there microphones and cameras and things like that in here when I got here? Well, Tom, I'll be honest with you. We do a weekly podcast. It's called Between Two Cars, hosted by uh, the Auto Parlor. You can find it on YouTube. And we want to get the community involved with us. So mm -hmm. uh, we're inviting different people. It's helped us along, people we find unique to the community, and have them on our podcasts every week. See, this is a good way to do it. So really, yes, it is a business selling cars, but it's a business that's part of the community part of the people of the area. If people want more information, you have a website or anything, you yeah, can send them to. Yeah, go to, to. and um, the, all auto the information is on our power mode, I'm sorry. And it, uh, all the information is on there. You can call us, too. And, and pretty simple, pretty simple. You're here Monday through Saturday, 
10 o'clock is when you open. 6 o'clock at night on, until Friday and 3 o'clock on Saturday. But you know what? If you give them a call and you need something special, I'll bet they'll show up for you. No kidding. <laughs> Back to you guys. Thanks so much, Tom. I mean, we always talk about how much we love podcasts, and that actually sounds like a really interesting listen. I know. A local podcast, a topic that I could stand to learn no, more about. No, nothing about. about. So. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> sounds <laughs> like awesome. a good find. Yep.